call the next part of the dinner special podcast, The Pressure Cooker. I am going to ask you seven fast and fun questions that we want to know your answers to. Are you up for it? I am. Okay, awesome. Number one, which food shows or cooking shows do you watch? So we don't have cable. We only have antenna. And I only get like Fox in those. And so I still watch shows like MasterChef. Um, I love Junior MasterChef just because I love seeing the eight-year-olds and the 10-year-olds just get in the kitchen. Um, I think it's really inspiring for kids to see other kids be in the kitchen and, and hopefully grow a generation that's used to cooking. Oh, yeah, totally, totally. He, Mac agrees. <laughs> <laughs> he loves Junior MasterChef too. He does, he does. Great. Number two, what are some food blogs or websites we have to know about? Oh, so I love blogs. I have, a, I mean, I've met a lot of friends through blogging, but the the blogs I'm loving right now who are doing some really creative vegetarian cooking, The First Mess, um, With Food and Love, Cookie and Kate, Love and Lemons. I'm sure there's about a dozen more I could name, but those are, those are the four that I really love. Great. Number uh, three. Who do you follow on Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, or Snapchat that make you happy? Oh. Um, so on Instagram, I love following the faux Martha. So she has a two-year-old at home who sometimes you see little hands in her shots, and I just love that. Um how many do you want? <laughs> that's, you know, I mean, that's a good start. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we'll start there. <laughs> okay, so the faux Martha, right? Yes. Great. Number four, what is the most unusual or treasured item you have in your kitchen? Unusual or treasured island? Um, I just said island. Oh, my goodness. Um, so I have a giant stoneware bowl that is made from a company um, where I used to live and it's a pottery place. It's no longer in business and it's, I just love it because you can't, I feel like you can't buy bowls like that anymore. <laughs> Is this a bowl for serving or for mixing? It's, like a, it's a mix mixing bowl, but it's, it's huge. It's, you can fit a, you can fit a small child in there. So. <laughs> okay, cool. Number five, name one ingredient you used to dislike that you now love. <laughs> oh, so many. I'm going to have to say goat cheese because I just wrote about this. I, I, for the longest time, I was scared of any cheese that was white because I thought it was goat cheese, but now I, I love it. <laughs> Great. Number six, what are a few cookbooks that make your life better? A um, few cookbooks. So first and foremost, the Vegetarian Flavor Bible is pretty much how I develop recipes because it's so great because you can look up an ingredient and get other ingredients and um, I love both of Sprouted Kitchen's cookbooks. Um, there's a new new cookbook out called um, Rosewater and Orange Blossoms. It's a Mediterranean uh, Lebanese cookbook, is and it's just wonderful. I, I could go on and on. <laughs> okay. And finally, number seven, what song or album just makes you want to cook? Um, so Yo-Yo Ma did a collaboration with a few bluegrass artist and it's called the goat rodeo sessions and it's my favorite one especially this time of year and it gets me in the mood to get in the kitchen and cook perfect well congratulations aaron you have officially survived the pressure cooker hooray <laughs> 